kids and Corona. How is Corona and being quarantined affecting the children? On today's show, I am talking to some amazing kids who are finding ways to find some peace and normality during these unprecedented times. So get ready as I talk to some children to see what they're doing during Corona. Bridging. Generation gaps. Socioeconomic gaps. Gender gaps. Cultural gaps. Bridging gaps that cause confusion, division, and chaos in today's society. And now, let's join our moderator, host, and guest for another provocative episode of Bridging. On today's show, I have an amazing kid. His name is Emmanuel Royal. We call him Royal. Royal was introduced to the camera after watching his big sister's love for being on set. After months of asking his parents, they agreed, and within days of being introduced to an agency, he was booked. He's been modeling and acting ever since. He has modeled for companies such as Gopher Sport, Target, and many other organizations. Royal debuted in his first professional performance on stage at none other than the Guthrie Theater. The book Mental Kidnapping by Stephen Treadwell will help strengthen you spiritually with evidence from the Word of God. Everything we do begins with a thought. Think twice before you speak once. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that is exalted against the knowledge of God. Let the real you shine through. Get encouraged, blessed, and motivated. Go to lulu.com or call 844-212-0689 to order your copy of Mental Kidnapping. I got hit by a car. Okay. Knocked okay. up eight feet in the air, landed on the windshield. Wow. Died twice on the way to the hospital. I was in a coma for 15 days. I came out of the coma, found out I was paralyzed. I never thought of myself being all right. Every paper I wrote in college was, you know, it was about, you know, the word of God. Right. Amen. And so that's why I live. You know, I live, if you want to find me, I'll be in the secret places. Well, mental kidnapping is anything that takes you away from, the, you know, the, the will of God. Mental Kidnapping by Stephen Treadwell takes you behind the bars of the human mind. Stephen Treadwell. A talented writer, a must read for everybody. Get your copy today at lulu.com. So, this is Kids in Quarantine. This is the episode of Kids in Quarantine. So, I'm talking to children um, because this is hard enough for us as adults. And we're trying to find things to do to keep our minds, you know, straight. But kids are doing some amazing things right now. And I just want to highlight you know, your book. I want to highlight who you are and what you've been doing um, even before quarantine and what you're doing now to keep the peace or to keep, you know, things feeling kind of normal during these crazy times. So we're just going to talk and, and whatever you want to say, you can say. What, um, what do you like best about acting? Best about acting? Um, just the fun that you get out of, you know, like, just playing the part and just like, you know, being with everybody else who's like doing their part. It's just, it's, it's all fun. Just, just the fun in it. It is. It is. So have you had any challenges? Like you might come home from school and then you have to, do you go to school or are you homeschooled? Not, not now. No, I go to school. Okay. So you have to come yeah. home from school. You have to learn your lines. Have you ever been like super tired? Like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. And then you get on set and you're like, I got this. Yeah, that um, usually when I'm tired, I actually like sleep in the car on our way out because most of my most of our auditions are in LA. So mm -hmm. just, you know, the drive is the drive is kind of long. It's like an hour or so. So I just take you know a short nap in the car and then and then you're ready. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if your mom told you, but I'm originally from LA. Oh wow! Well, is there is there parts of LA? Mm -hmm. What part of LA? Gardena. He said, "Is there parts of LA?" Yes, <laughs> I grew up in Gardena. In Gardena, and um, let me see. I did a little acting, and I took acting classes at Van Mar Academy, which is in Hollywood. Um, kids in Corona. I want to talk to you about what were you doing before Corona? I know that you have been taking martial arts 
classes? Yes. For how long? Um, I think for like two or three years five. oh well, five. You, were in, you were in fifth grade when oh you right so five years actually now <laughs> five years five years and mom you took classes with him i did i did yes okay so uh, my daughter and my son they both take taekwondo or took taekwondo and me and my husband we took classes with them as well everyone is a black belt except me <laughs> keep up so what do you what is your goal with taking martial arts classes do you want to earn a black belt that was um one of the main goals that i wanted to do because it you know it's, it's like such a huge accomplishment and just you know defending myself in case i like need to right right so how much further do you have to go um we actually have one more belt <gasps> one belt away from black belt. one belt and then COVID-19 hits and you had to stop. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So what have you been doing since being quarantined? You can't do your martial arts anymore. So how are you keeping yourself active? Um, well, we are going to be on a schedule to like, you know, work out outside. And then sometimes we like, you know, we're probably going to start like doing our katas in our living room. Okay. But I've mainly been drawing and working on our book that we just finished actually working on your book okay so what is the name of your book color me capable color me capable so you co-wrote this book with your mom yes you took martial arts together now you're writing a book together what was the process like like most kids don't want to do stuff with their parents they're like i don't want to do this <laughs> <laughs> what was this process like in writing this book with your mom um, it wasn't actually too complicated. It was pretty simple. Like, you know, we were brainstorming, we were writing down ideas. Actually, she wanted me to write down five things that I wanted to, um, you know, talk about in the book and, you know, wrote down some ideas. And those ideas actually ended up being like one of the most important, you know, lines in the book. Wow. Okay, mom. So what was it like for you? It was great. Um, I mean, he's a teenager. But uh, he's he's kind of cool. He's kind of cool. He kinda. <laughs> okay. He's a lot cool. <laughs> but I I don't know. I just said basically. I'm. I just asked him. I'm like, okay, Royal. Do you want to write a book together? And he had written a book when he was like eight. It was a uh, a book. A uh, boy who dreamed dreamt many things. And so he had kind of went through the process and he illustrated his first book. And he's actually quite the artist. Really, he is. He's quite the artist. And so I just asked him, I'm like, okay, would you like to write a book? And he's like, sure. So knowing me and knowing that I'm like, okay, let's do it. Let's, let's get on it. I just started right away kind of, you know, throwing little hints like, okay, this is what I want you to do. I'm like, because at that time, we had really no idea what the book was going to be about. We knew the title because it was kind of associated with the documentary, but we didn't know what it was going to look like. And so I just said to him, write down five things that you um, want to be in the book. And the process was, it was pretty easy. I just sat down with him. Anytime I would catch him on the couch, I would sit down and then turn on like my camera and I'd set it, I'd kind of prop it up. So hoping he wouldn't notice it, but he did. <laughs> I always notice when she had the camera on. Every time. <laughs> I think we should start with like the word doubt, like start the sentence, the very first sentence with the word doubt, and then you can put synonyms for that. So like. <laughs> but he went along with it. He went along with it. And uh, really he was just like, okay, how about we start like this? And so it really just kind of, flowed um our creative uh process kind of meshed together and it worked it worked well that's amazing so do you have a favorite part in the book royal what's actually, your favorite? Yeah, the, my favorite part is the last the, that actually the last lines um what is dang that? i forget what it's called it's be bold be courageous be happy kind and free be strong yeah be strong um be who you want to be. I think I heard that in the trailer. So yeah. I have trailer. a trailer. Okay, I want to show that really quick. So let's go ahead and look at the trailer for the book, Color Me Capable. 
Be bold. Be courageous. Be happy, kind, and free. Be strong. Be victorious. Be who you want to be. Follow your own path, because your life is yours. That path is your life, and your life is your choice. Color Me Capable. Available on Amazon and patriceandroyal.com. Okay, we're back. Royal, oh my goodness. Um, that trailer was amazing. It, it encouraged me. <laughs> and I, I think I heard a voice on there that sounds similar to yours. Yeah, I was the one who did the voiceover. Oh my gosh. So you, you do voiceovers. You are an artist. And I also understand that you're an actor as well. I want to talk more about the book, but you're an actor as well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been really fun. Um, of course, like challenging during these times, but yeah. acting has been really fun for me over these years. I really enjoy it, just all the fun. And I actually started off with doing modeling. So first I did some ads with Target. You know, they have me do, dressing up in Halloween costumes. You're like, all right, jump up in the sky or jump up in the air. You know, <laughs> that's like you're a superhero. <laughs> Give me a pow. And so, uh, yeah. And then I went on to like Macy's. I did a runway with them. Um, I modeled for Finger Hut. And then I started doing uh, filming. And my first film was actually The Devil and the Vagabond, which was a short film. And then after that, my first short, like, short movie is called Illusory. And then now I'm doing Darman. 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 Oh, my gosh. You are amazing. Like, you. <laughs> you are. You're amazing. You are very talented. You're um, poised. You seem self-assured about yourself. Okay, so let's get back to this book because I am, I'm really intrigued about the whole, you're 15, you're 15. There are people who want to write books. There are people who are inspiring writers who never sit down to do it. How did you find the time outside of being quarantined? Because some of the people are just sitting on the couch eating chips during quarantine. <laughs> how, how did you find the time and the structure to do this? Well, a lot of people, um, I think that, you know, want to write books, they have a lot of doubt and that comes from themselves and other people who tell them that they can't. And so I have faced out before and what I did was look towards my future and mm -hmm. see myself with success, see myself succeeding. And so that just encouraged me to, you know, move forward and forward and forward until I reach success with my mom. Wow. And and I guess that um, that intrinsic motivation, you use that for everything. Because if you're faced with doubt and you're looking inside yourself for that strength, you're using that for your martial arts. You're using that for writing your book, going on auditions, making movies. Boy! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what would you say to other children or teens who are challenged with anything, not just wanting to write a book, but with anything? Um, they need a lot of confidence because a lot of, a lot of, you know, a lot of this comes from like self-confidence. So find that like inner confidence and help, help getting help from people. Like they know that they trust getting help from them. That's like one, a lot, like it can be a lot to help. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so glad you're here with me today. Um, I want to show the book again. I want to show the book. So with this amazing book, where can the viewers get their hands on it? So you can find this on Amazon or at our website at patriceandroyal.com. Uh, yes. You can also get it at Barnes and, yep. You can also get it at barnesandnoble.com as well. If you purchase it on our website, we are on a mission to give away 100,000 books. So, yeah. <laughs> so what that means is that every time you purchase a book, you actually have the option to donate a book to a child who doesn't have it. Uh, you can choose the person uh, that you donate the book to, or we can choose who you donate the book to as well. So you definitely have that option and then we'll mail it out to anywhere in the U.S. Wow. A hundred thousand books. What made you want to give away a hundred thousand books? I don't know. I just... Honestly, we just wanted to do something great. We wanted the message that we wanted. We feel like 
this book, and I don't know if you agree, but I feel like this book like conveyed what we wanted a lot of children to know Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. how to feel about themselves. We wanted to uplift them because I feel like a lot of times they don't hear it enough. And so having something like this gives them a positive outlet to say, you know what, I can do this. I can be this. And so that's just kind of where our mission came to give. The number is just kind of arbitrary. We just decided on 100,000 and then it's like we just wanted to share that number or, or share, yeah, share that number of books with the world and just see wow. if we can get it into as many hands as possible. Wow, I'm so excited. So I will be purchasing a book and I want to give a book away yeah. as well. <laughs> I look forward to reading it, I look forward to giving it away, and I look forward to seeing you do great things, Royal. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us. Bye. <laughs> Next, I have with me two amazing little ladies who know their way around the kitchen. Let's see what they're cooking up during the quarantine. Be bold, be courageous, be happy, kind, and free. Be strong, be victorious, be who you want to be. Follow your own path because your life is yours. That path is your life and your life is your choice. Color Me Capable, available on Amazon and patriceandroyal.com. Today I'm going to talk to children and see how they're faring with being quarantined and having to deal with corona. Kids and corona, what are they doing to find some peace and normality during these unprecedented times? Okay, so on today's show, I have two lovely ladies with me who just happen to know their way around the kitchen, and I know they know their way around the kitchen because they send me all of their wonderful, delicious pictures of food that I can't even cook. All right, so introduce yourself. Who's the oldest? Me. Who's me? What's your name, me? (laughs) Anne Marie. Anne Marie and Anne Marie, who's sitting next to you? Addison. Hello, Addison. Hello. <laughs> okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys because, you know, during the quarantine, um, it got quite boring, right? And you guys love to do something and you do it well. What did you do during the quarantine that you have so much fun doing? We cooked. We played. We went camping. Uh huh. But and can we, we mostly cooked. So. You mostly cooked. You know. We, played, we did Girl Scout badges and we played. And you played. And you played. <laughs> I want to hear about this cooking because you guys have sent me some pictures of your meals. One meal was Parmesan chicken. Tell me about this Parmesan chicken meal, Anne-Marie. Well, so what we, like, I cooked it, so it was really fun to cook. So I sliced the chicken and everything, well, like, we, like, opened the chicken. Not, not the Parmesan. We, we split them in half. You're right. Yeah, so, cut. like, we did cut the chicken. Uh-huh. And we coated it. We um, seasoned it. And we... We seeded it with herbs from the garden. Herbs from what garden? Our garden. We um we made, have we like size. we made a garden and we had mint, we had parsley, basil, and cilantro. That was our garden. You planted your own garden during quarantine. Yes, ma'am. Use your own herbs and spices to make. Now, see, y'all just took this to a whole nother level. When I saw the chicken, I was like, hmm, that chicken looks good. But now that I know that you grew your own spices, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> okay, so, wow. I hear your mom back there. Does she help you in the kitchen when you're making these meals? She does help me, but she... I mostly do it, and she, 
Well, she goes super fast, so. Well, she helps me most of the time, but like I know how to cook a lot, so she helps me sometimes. If like I, if the chef is going too fast, she helps me sometimes to catch up. So what you want to say is that you were you took an online cooking class and we did some personal recipes, right? Yes. So what is, what are some things you did that were personal that were not the chef? Um, we did my own chocolate glaze on my cake I made and then we did chocolate fudge we did chocolate syrup and we did um chocolate I think they're called, called chocolate banana chip muffins chocolate banana chip muffin muffins and cinnamon banana muffins so let me just say and this. Marble. let me say this and then I'm gonna talk to Addison for a second all that stuff you said you just know how to cook and bake, I don't know how to do any of that. I can't wait till y'all come back to my house so I can just like open my kitchen and say, have at it. Okay, Addison. <laughs> Addison, you're cooking too. How old are you, Addison? Seven you're years seven. old. Seven years old. And what have you cooked during the quarantine? I've cooked cupcakes <clears throat> and... You did the herb potatoes. Herb uh, potatoes. You did. You did. You learned how to make candy yams, didn't you? Tell. I should. I, don't I learned you. how to make candy yams. What else did you, you learn? How to make fried chicken all by yourself too, didn't fried you? Chicken. <laughs> and I what was the other thing you made? Because the, the rice okay. casserole. And we made a cake. I and we learned how to eat, make cake. I saw a picture of your fried chicken and your broccoli casserole. Did you make that? Yes, ma'am. Wow. And then I saw your chocolate cake that you made. But your cakes, both of you guys made cakes, but the topping for the cake was a little different. What was your topping on the cake, Addison? My topping mm. on the cake? Chocolate frosting. Chocolate frosting. Homemade chocolate frosting. Homemade. Yes, from scratch. From scratch. Homemade chocolate frosting. I wonder if your mom would give us that recipe for the homemade chocolate frosting so we can give it to I our I don't think so. Oh! <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> okay. What was your topping for your chocolate cake? Well, my chocolate cake was a little bit different. I had done a rose butt cake, um, cake, and then for my topping, I did a chocolate glaze collage. Ganache. Ganache. I don't know. No, what chocolate glaze. I'm sorry. <laughs> ganache. Hold on, viewers. Do y'all hear a chocolate ganache by a child? Like, I, I just take mine out of the, the little can and frost my stuff. Here they are making homemade <laughs> chocolate frosting and chocolate ganache. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> wow. I also put on my cake is powdered sugar. You topped it off with powdered sugar. I'm going to show everyone these cakes that you guys made and these delicious meals. I put powdered sugar and chocolate chips on mine. Wow, I wish I could have tasted both of those because I love chocolate. Okay, here's the last thing I want to um, ask. We have some in the food and we can give it to you. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> so what do you want to do with this cooking? Do you want to have your own show? Do you want to do a YouTube channel? What are your plans with all that you're doing in the kitchen? I plan to have a YouTube show with Miss Dr. Harper being in my YouTube show and helping me out and stuff and my mom and maybe a little bit of Addison in my cooking show and if I do get to it I hope everybody out there subscribes to my YouTube channel. Well as soon as you get a YouTube channel we will have and I want to do a Facebook. Facebook. I want to do a Facebook live. I'm listening. Yeah. I want to do a Facebook live. It's like Miss Dr. Hopper's helping me and stuff. And a little bit of my sister. 
That's um, going to be on my YouTube channel. And I hope everybody subscribe to it. I am so happy that you guys want to include me in your kitchen and in your in your show, but I just want to warn you that I've almost burned up two kitchens. So <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'm very excited to help you <laughs> and I'm glad you want me. I can taste, I can always taste your items, but I don't think you want me cooking. But when you get your YouTube channel, well, we, bring you back on the show. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, right. we will help. I want to teach you how to cook some of the stuff. And maybe I could give you a cooking show. Cooking mm -hmm. lesson. Well, cooking lesson. Right. I, will, I will definitely take you up on some cooking lessons, good ladies. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Thank you, Addison. And I look forward to tasting your wonderful food. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Dr. Mel, your talk show host of Bridging. I had an amazing and fun time talking to kids today who are finding things to do during coronavirus just to make life a little bit more easy. I will see you next time. Bye. Be bold. Be courageous. Be happy, kind, and free. Be strong. Be victorious. Be who you want to be. Follow your own path because your life is yours. That path is your life and your life is your choice. Color Me Capable, available on Amazon and patriceandroyal.com. Have you ever gotten a bad grade when you didn't try? Or gotten a bad grade and didn't know why? Was it not the easiest to try to fly? Maybe the work seemed too hard, too difficult to do. Did you ask the teacher and still have no clue? Did it seem like climbing a mountain was easier to understand? than asking the teacher for a helping hand. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Dr. Mel, talk show host of Bridging. We had some wonderful conversation with some amazing children today, and I am glad that you joined us, and I'll see you next time. Bridging. Generation gaps. Socioeconomic gaps. Gender gaps. Cultural gaps. Bridging gaps that cause confusion, division, and chaos in today's society. Oh!